hi guys how you doing now in this video will be um, I chose to look at a few more quadratics such that you could get comfortable with working with them because we're going to be working with a lot of quadratics through this course okay and different types different scenarios so based on the situation that you may find you you are accustomed to handle yourself okay now as we have stated before, one of the first things we want to do when working with quadratics, we're going to identify what A is. In this case, A is 4. And then we're going to identify what our B is. B is equal to negative 8. And last but not least, we're going to identify what C is, the constant. And in this case, C is 3. Okay? And that's it. Now, Simply, the next step that we learn when factorizing a quadratic expression, the next thing that you need to do, you need to find the product of AC. Okay, so now I'm finding my product AC. A is equal to 4, as we have there on the left, times C, which is 3. And when I multiply 4 times 3, my answer is 12. My product is 12. Now, after I've found the product, which is 12, I now need to find factors of that product, okay? So my next step is to find factors of that product, AC. Now, basically what I'm going to be doing here, I'm just going to be listing my factors, but after a while you're comfortable, you can basically see the factors, okay? But just for uh, explanation and to make it easy for you, just list your factors for now. So factors of 12 are 1 times 12. Okay. Then I may have a 2 times 6 and 3 times 4. So there I have my factors of 12. Now this is where it gets a bit technical and I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can use to guide yourself through this okay I know that when I multiplied a positive 4 times a positive 3 I got a positive 12 and the key thing when factorizing a quadratic I must come up with two factors when I multiply them I get the product AC but when I add them I get B now if you notice B is negative okay and I'm multiplying two positive numbers and I'm going to need to add two numbers to get a negative 8. So by intuition, this would suggest then that I, a negative times a negative will give me a positive 12. And if I add two negatives, I'll also get a negative 8. Okay? So by intuition, it would suggest then that both all of my factors... I'm going to make them negative. And guys, when you reach at this point with the factors, maybe I, I didn't say it before, but it is you who decide what is negative or what will be positive based on the situation that you have here. You will now determine that. That's your choice to see what match and which numbers you should change the signs on. Okay, that's your decision. Now, let's continue. I know that a negative 1 times a negative 12 will give me a positive 12 and any two numbers that I multiply here now I'll still get a positive 12 because a negative times a negative will give me a positive but in doing so the two factors that I select when I add them I must get a negative 8 in this case when I add negative 1 and negative 12 I'll get a negative 13 so that simply means by process of elimination that will be out now with 2 if i add a negative 2 time negative 2 plus a negative a negative uh 6 if i add negative 2 minus 6 i will get a negative 8 so there we go um we have found our factor so that is the one i'm looking for because when i multiply negative 2 times negative 6 i get a neg a positive 12 and when i add them i get a negative 8 so we're good to go so we can rewrite our quadratic now by using our factors okay so i'm going to say 4k square and i like to 
I decided to change my variable from x to k now because sometimes students get a bit confused you work with only x's in class and when they go in the exam they're saying okay there's a p now and a q and they don't realize that it's the same thing that they're working with okay so all I did was to change my x's to k's now so if it looks funny it's really the same thing and you'll see okay guys now uh, we have a 4k square. I'm going to split this middle term by using my factors. So I'm going to have a negative 2k minus 6k plus 3. Okay, guys. Now, this is quite easy. I'm going to look. I'm going to group factorize by grouping my terms now. Okay. So I'm going to group these two first terms. Okay. And then I'm going to group my last two two terms now what is common to 4k square minus 2k um, quite evidently we can see now that we have a 2k that is common okay so I have a 2k so I'm going to say 2 into 4 goes 2 times so I can put down that 2 and I can say k into k square will leave me with k and 2 into negative 2k will goes negative 1 okay now there's a a sign here I have to take it down and I'm going to ask myself what is common to 6k and 3 and I will have a 3 there okay now I'm going to say 3 into a negative 3 into a negative 6k will give me a positive 2k okay and a negative 3 into a positive 3 will give me a minus one all right so there we go we have factorized that so now we need to group okay I'm going to collect my terms on the outside which is 2k and this three minus 3 here okay put that in a bracket and I'm just going to rewrite what's inside one of the brackets so I have a 2k minus 1 inside the bracket and that's my answer okay and it's that easy and as I've said before you could always expand this bracket multiply it out to see if you get back the original here that you started with that's a way of checking yourselves okay um, if you have any comments or if you have any further questions feel free to ask and we'll try to assist you as best as possible bye for now good